Hey, in this video, we'll be discussing the Ryobi 40 volt brushless 14 inch chainsaw. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified of new content. Let's get going. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Sherburn Outdoors. Hey, today we're gonna to be discussing the Ryobi 40 volt brushless 14 inch chainsaw. So you guys have seen that I, I bought a Jeep Gladiator yeah, about a couple months ago, I guess it's been. And getting ready to do the overlanding season coming up here in the spring. I'm uh, gonna do some deep uh, deep camping. And occasionally you need a chainsaw, either A, to clear, clear the track that you're riding on or actually go out and chop up some old wood when you're in there. Anyway, so I looked around, I love Ryobi. I've been collecting 40 volt and 18 volt tools for years. I've um, been increasing my 40 volt piece quite a bit lately. But um, I wanted to get a, a 14 volt uh, or 40 volt chainsaw. So I went and bought this, it's about $200 at, uh, at Home Depot. It does come with batteries. Why You can get it without the battery as well. I think it's, it's significantly cheaper, but about 200 bucks with the battery um, at Home Depot. And what I thought we'd do is just do an unboxing. This is a pretty simple, you know, it's just a chainsaw. It has a guard, um, it holds a 40 volt, and then you put oil in it. it. It's relatively simple. And then what I thought we would do is there's some crepe myrtles over there and over there and through the back. I thought I'd just chop them down really quick because it's springtime and we got to get rid of them. Um, with that, so that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to go through, we're going to do a quick unboxing, uh, see what's in it, uh, fill it full of oil for the bar because it does not come. You do need bar oil, um, and then we'll get it moving. Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do a quick unboxing of what we got in here. So, first things first charger this looks like our battery let's just verify what I'm guessing let's see how charged it is too Ooh, getting cold out here all right so this is our four amp hour ready battery let's see where we're at here actually down to one tick. I have to go get a battery for us to test this out inside. <laughs> um, and then we've got our actual chainsaw inside of here. Um, pretty, pretty simple setup. Let's just pull this out. Actually, hold on here real quick. Okay, that's it. All right, so basically we have uh, the chainsaw itself. Got a nice slim charger. I got two of those now, uh, along with my other ones. And then we've got an uncharged four amp hour battery, which looks like it slides in the side. So if we were to put this in, okay, so it sticks out a little bit. So we look around, we've got the battery installed. You got your, your thing to kick it on. You got your hand guard right here, and then your overall guard at the front. And then uh, your bar oil, which we'll need to fill up here in just a second. And then we'll give this thing a go. <laughs> so simply, uh, you know, this is just a chainsaw. Looks like you got your adjustments here on the side. And then on the bottom, you got your tool that's integrated in here. And again, this is brushless, so it'll ramp up really quick. And it's, it says it's got some optimizing things. If we look at the box on the outside, it's got an automatic oil adjuster gives you 15 percent more power with the brushless engine pretty good pretty good. i mean obviously it works with other tools as well but they're always they're always hyping these other things i actually have quite a number of these tools but tell you what let's fill this thing up with oil and let's go chop some stuff up so all in all this is pretty simple and the oil's on top the ones i've seen in the past the oil was on the side you had to turn it over so we'll just put some in here and fill it up with bar oil which is needed. And this is actually a pretty good size reservoir it's got inside of here. Let's see if I can do this without getting it everywhere. Actually, this is a really good, good size reservoir. And I, I won't say I didn't get it everywhere, but I got it right to the end. All right, that's gonna leak over just a little. Oops, just a little. Oh. 
All right, so we've got this thing ready to go. I've got the oil filled up. I've got a, 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 a battery with a, a little with some charge in it versus the one that came with it. And it's pretty simple. You've got this button right here. You pull back right here, and then you've got a, a trigger down here you hit. You pull them together, so I'll pull back. And it gets moving. It's actually pretty sweet. So I tell you what, let's do, uh, let's do this as a test. Let's, uh, let's take this, and let's, let's, let's move this on. All right, so I got an old tree branch that we had down here. I thought this might just be a good start and see how this works. And it works well. Works really well. All right, so let's go over to these crepe myrtles here. And let's kind of chop these guys down quite a bit. There's, there's a whole number of them here. impressions of this thing is it's absolutely awesome it's super easy to use it's not messy it's very clean it's very powerful and it does ramp up like it says it does on the box yes that's not an oak tree but I'm not looking for that if you want to get your big husk of barn out there with the huge blade and everything that's what you need. it's a 40 volt electric chainsaw works great it gets about 200 bucks at Home Depot I would highly recommend it um, I'm gonna Finish cutting all this stuff up, get it all in bags, and get it off to the curb. But uh, with that said, I I'm so glad I bought this. I can't wait to use this continue from the yard here, but also looking forward to using it in the overland and stuff in the summer here, and the spring coming up. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Again, Home Depot Ryobi 40 volt brushless. 14 inch chainsaw. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified of new content. Thanks so much for your time. Everybody have a great day.